Hey guys, I'm Russell Vane, and welcome back to another part of Child of Light. So, where we last left off was that we found a, like a temple ruins kind of thing. But anyways, I actually logged into the game and I had to like start... I wanted to leave off where we were and we just defeated the monsters or the alligator bones and stuff like that. And so let's power up one of our members because I apparently just leveled up two people, which is Oengus and Tristis. I'm thinking about getting Taunt and then getting Cleave all, Ketically Evolved, but at the same time, I really want to get to uh, Defense, I think. So, we gotta get some Defense into our character for Oengus. But other than that, yeah, that's where we left off. We just defeated an, uh, an enemy and that's it, mostly. But anyways, it's been a while since I came back from Child of Light. I uploaded the, the last part was technically the break, I guess. Like I, I took a, a little break. From this game and try to get everything done. Wait, that's. I can't. That's not a door? Oh, come on. See, oh, what is this? Oh, there's something. Oh, yeah. I, I, last time I saw this, or last time, uh, in the last part, I saw the video. When I was editing the video, I saw that the fact that the. The. These things were pick up. Like, you can pick them up, I guess. Alright, or not pick up a bull, but maybe movable? I don't know. I don't really know what exactly to do with these. I don't know what these things do or what's important about them. I don't know what's important about these guys, but uh, um, I am assuming that these guys are important in some sense of a puzzle again. For Christ's sake, I hate puzzles. I really don't. I think it has to do with something of the picture on, on the bottom, I think. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Or how, hard to understand what this puzzle's asking. Oh, there's another dude over there. Can I get it to him? Oh, god dang it. I messed up. Can I get to him through here? Yes, I can. Surprise attack! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright. All right, surprise attack. All right, so let's see who would go first. If Oengus goes first, then it's a pretty good idea, I guess. Hmm. Catacly Vol. Well, the Bone Guy needs just physical damage to get him out, to flash him out. One dodge, damn it! I wanted to see how much damage the Dark Pig. Or the Dark Hog, whatever it is, would take. Let me see. How much will my attack work on this person? Because I don't know exactly if this guy will be super effective on my on my end. No, it's not super effective. Well, it is. It is super effective to the element, but not to the to the attack. So it doesn't accept physical attack as much as, for say, the magical attacks that I did to them. In the past. So most likely that's mostly what I need to do. But I have a feeling this is not a good idea to deal with. But hey. Yes. I banked. I banked on the risk that I might not be able to hit him. Because he might interrupt me again. Or things might interrupt me. Alright I'm going to concentrate attack on this one. Oeng is going to concentrate attack on him. Bam. He's dead. Look at that, 335. Nice. Noise. And let's see if we can kill this guy off completely. Because we did do a little damage, and normally it did take a little bit of a damage just to finish him off after we used Light Ray for the first time on him. Nope, he's not dead. God dang this. Ah, well, that's a lot of damage, but not enough to kill him, I guess. Freaking pig. Gosh. Just. Oh god. Is it gonna interrupt one of both of us, I think? No, never mind. It only hit Oengus. And he set him back. Dang, that's a lot of damage. 103. That is a lot of damage, I gotta say. He's dead? No. Why is he? Why are you not dead, pig? Dang. 
How much more do I have to t give him? Or how much more attacks do I have to take to make him go down? Oh, there we go. He took the last hit. Nice. Nice. And he's only three damage higher than freaking Aurora. Damn. Oh, Ingus, what have you been eating? Making yourself much more powerful than freaking Aurora every time. Plus, I think that they're catching up in levels. Like, everyone's gonna catch up in this, into the same levels. Anyways, I think in the last part, I talked about charity livestream and stuff like that. I really, really do really want to, like, give it a shot with charity livestreams, but... Oh god. Oh god. The wind is blowing. Rough rubies. Alright, alright. No, I had to be there. It looks like it's the E. Surprise? No, damn it. No, she he saw my dress. He saw the dress. Oh, no, no, it is surprise. What the heck? Oh, God, there's a fly firebird again. Ugh. Like, it's really hard to tell what element you need in this part because they all, like... They're all randomized in the sense of in the sense of um, in the sense of the area, because this area doesn't seem to be very in incredibly concentrated in a particular element. Like if I was in the forest, it's concentrated on wooden characters or like grassy type of characters or something like nature based actually. So that's two down, one more to go. But most likely, I would say that much because I don't think that this area would be as the same if, as every other ones. And I thought honestly that they would be filled with water character base or water enemy based things. But I guess I'm kind of wrong. But who knows? Or who cares really much? Because as long as we're enjoying the game and hopefully survive the battles, we're good, I guess. Come on, get the thing. Anyways, but back to the point, the charity live streams, I really enjoy, or really, oh god, Ignacus is freaking jittering here. I really enjoy doing a live stream because the fact that I can make a difference and the fact that I could, you know, share the help, helping hand to those who are in need more than I am. I mean, I'm only using the donation towards games so I can, you know, make more gameplays and do some stuff for business. Or not business. That's so stupid. For this channel, technically. Not this business. I don't even have money. I don't even make money. I can't, I don't, I'm a penniless bastard that leeches off of my parents, which is sad. To be honest, it's sad, but it's it's truth. It's the truth right now. You know, in the future, yeah, I'm going to get my job and, you know, get things done. But obviously, that's what I mean. Like, right now, I'm, I'm part of nothing. Like, nothing's really hugely different. Or nothing's really moving. In my opinion. Oh god, this bird is not really going down. Dang. How many more hits? Oh, and they're, okay. Now it's, now it's slumping. There we go. Goodbye. But yeah, I'm not really making a huge difference out there. I'm only doing YouTube as a hobby for now still. And, you know, in the future it might become a job. And it may be a career if... You know, if you guys enjoy my content as much as I think that you guys do. I don't know. I don't really know. The future is very unforeseeable, and sometimes I don't know anything because people don't tell me anything. So, it's hard for me to understand where to go at or where to come from when it comes to YouTube and or Twitch or anything in general. Because I don't, I don't get told to do something that the people enjoy a lot. But at the same time, I just keep doing what I'm doing until the day somebody actually, or a bunch of people actually, feel like shouting at me to do something or play this game or make me, I don't know, do this game in this fashion or form. I'll probably wait for that day to happen. And I mean, the people I have now for like as a subscriber to my channel are amazing people. I really enjoy chatting with the people that I talk to, or like enjoy chatting with my subscribers i enjoy the fact that they would sometimes come out to watch these videos and if not then it's fine like i don't mean to make them watch every single video i know everyone's busy in their own way or own form or fashion whatever it is 
of course, but you know, it, it's there's comes a time where you'll. Oh wait, I already leveled up. Why do I need this? Darn it! I don't need this plant stuff. Oh god, this one has more. All right, there we go. Whatever. All right, so this one is the seven, and it's got to be in the center. I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm very confused. There's a chest out there, but I can't go over there. Hmm. The seven should be in the center, I'm guessing. But at the same time, I don't know how to get seven in the center. Or the eight, actually. My bad. I, I called seven and eight. Yeah, that's an eight. So eight's got to be in the center. Uh, five should be on the left side of that. But I think 5 is up here, I'm guessing, right? Is 5 up here? Or that's 6. I don't know if that's 6. No, that's uh, 13. Why is 13 not even down? Oh, whatever. So 13 should be up there on the corner of the right, top right corner of the part. I don't know. I, I tried to push it down, but it didn't seem to push down. I thought it was gonna push down for sure, but it didn't push down at all. And like I tried to push it down to the cliff and stuff like that, but it didn't seem to have worked. All right, let me go here and let me take out the monster over here. I think I might have to go down. Well, I did say I was gonna have to. I have to like look for the fish hole. Like I saw the fish cave thingy. There we go. Surprise attack again. I was gonna go find the fish hole thingy and see what's downstairs of that fish cave, but oh well. Okay, here comes the firebird again. I'm seeing that thing more often than ever, which is kind of awkward. Um. Oh no, it's not a surprise attack. That's surprising. I thought it was gonna be a surprise attack because they didn't see me or they didn't react. I'm gonna get freaking interrupted so much. I think. Never mind. Two of them are not interrupting me, but that one dude's gonna do it. The one, the alligator bones on top, on the on the far top side. I think he's gonna attack me if I don't interrupt him. All right, cool. I was scared he's gonna attack me, anyways. That was a critical hit on that guy and that bird. All right, let's see if we can take out any more of these guys. We need to take out as much as we can so we don't get that much damage. One's down, one got set back, one is close to dying, I'm guessing. The bird is not close to death either, so... Alright, let's defend for now because it looks like I'm not gonna be able to surpass these guys in speed because the bird speeded itself up and the bones guy is like... A little bit faster or ahead of me so I can't really do much got set back 20 damage not that bad not that bad pretty good but yeah but but yeah I don't make a difference I can't make a difference until the day where you know I feel like I'm ready from the previous part when I was saying but also with the fact that that's uh, going on with the idea that I wanted to do a charity live stream um, I want to start talking about probably my personal life maybe because I don't actually I realize I don't actually have enough games to make me or I don't really have enough time in some other games to talk about my life and I know Child of Light is one of those series that don't actually involve too much about uh, me talking about like hurry, 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 kind of thing like I only the only intense scenes that I fought against were just you know battles enemy battles and stuff but you know it always leaves me room to talk about things that i can talk about and i used to have this kind of thing where i wanted to talk about my life in a sense in some sense or form of course and i never really had the chance to do it because i was i was really thinking people won't be really in, like enjoying my my content if i just kept talking about my life in terms of uh in terms of something, oh my god, I'm lagging like crazy. 
Okay, um, I don't know. I, it's not that hot right now, really. I thought it was going to be running fine and smoothly, but I guess it's going to be lagging to the max with 5 frames per second. It's going back up a little bit. Man, it's lagging hard. I'm guessing it's just because it's just not letting me go for uh, the thing. Let me see. Uh, let me pause this baby here. I'm sorry if this is going to take some time. Uh, here we go. Let's let it wait. I don't know where all my CPU power is going to, but... Anyways, uh, yeah, I don't have the time to actually talk about things, and that's why I always feel like... I, I kind of feel stressed, or I don't feel like I I've let go of a lot of things that I want to talk about. Come on, game. Give me more FPS. I'm, like, running out of FPS power. But are we all... No, we're not short on time. We have a lot of time still. But, yeah, I don't have a lot of... Uh, chances to talk about things and I think people would get bored of me talking about myself because they think I might be narcissistic or I just just that I don't have a great amazing life. I don't really have a great amazing life. I would say that for sure. Um, I've been you know I've been in like terrible situations every single day. I have the worst luck sometimes and I gotta be honest it is pretty bad that, that it's gonna happen like that or it, it's pretty bad that it happens so much I mean it is part of life to actually go through something very difficult and I for one always keep going through things very difficultly and not only that I've said about I think I've said about this I don't know if I did I'm a I'm a I'm the only child in this family in this household and with the fact that I am the only child I'm very pressured to succeed for this family in a sense, um, in some sense. I'm not saying like I'm like the successor of the throne of this house. No, I don't mean like Game of Thrones or <laughs> or some medieval or uh, ancient empire sort of setting. But I'm saying like in a sense of me being pressured to succeed in life or in my uh, in getting a job or something that will help support myself and maybe my family in the future if I have one. If I get to have one. Or have a chance to have one. Oh, come on, where are you, Ignicus? Ignicus, I need that health. God dang, this FPS drop is really heavy. I might have to stop the recording for a little bit just to give it to the speed up. Come on. Yeah. God dang it. But yeah, overall, I would say that much. It's just really difficult for me. If I had a brother or sister, of course I would learn the the fact about um, sharing or maybe not sharing. Like how should I say? How should I say it? It's not interaction. Um, experience of responsibility. Yeah, there we go. Responsibility. I want to learn to. God dingus! Come on! You don't have to just do it one by one. Come on, dude. So Trist is leveled up. Okay, that's cool. Oh yeah, everyone leveled up. I didn't. I forgot about upgrading them. <laughs> At least we can upgrade them before we freaking end the, this this episode. Okay, now you're back to normal. A little bit, slightly, slightly going back and up and down. Gosh. All right, let me wait till that thing goes down. Let me grab all that. Get all that health. I need it all. Alright. Oh god, this lag is really killing me. But, yeah, overall, I would learn the, the sense of responsibility. The sense of, you know, understanding people in some terms. But all, all throughout my life, I would say, I've been lonely. I've been probably... I mean, I would say that my commentary started when I was a kid, I think. Like, commentary-wise talking to myself and stuff like that is technically how I started off in my childhood because I had nobody to talk to. I always had myself to talk to. Um, I'm not saying my parents didn't want to talk to me, it's just they always been stressed and tired from their jobs that they don't really enjoy talking to me. And that's why the interaction is harder for me and my parents sometimes. Ooh, I hear Stardust. Oh, there we are. Speed! Or dodge, actually. That's the dodge. That's the dodge button. Yeah, and the interaction with my parents is like really hard, like hard because parents 
Like some parents may and may not understand you as as a a person, but most parents, if you don't know, really do try to be on your side, try to get to your side, get on your side, and they do want to uh, support you as much as they can. Like my parents are trying to, or my mom in particular wants to support me as much as she could or she can, and it's been really. Let me get the start of this. It's been really harsh on me and her because I have to be very pressured and like it, it's not as easy as to say like I can do this and I can meet up with that goal or that deadline that I want to be in or something like that. And I I don't know, I generally don't see myself trying to uh, speed up in anything. Like, I don't wanna be quick about anything in general because I for one enjoy being like taking my time I, I don't really like speeding up I like to just take my time take take the time to like get to whatever I want to get to and do my things like here I do put a lot of time and energy into it instead of going to school and actually doing classes and more but I do I mean I'm not saying school is bad or anything it's just that sometimes I don't really enjoy the school as much as I thought I would. Like the first year, you know, in, in college, you're like you're very excited, you're very like anxious and excited to start something new and fresh. But when in fact you later on you realize you're like, okay, my goal isn't this, Re not really this. Like I tried my best to do this and that, but I never really realized that these classes have gotten to me that I I don't need to do these classes or I don't want to do these classes anymore. And you start losing interest, and that's, I think that's, oh god, they're not letting me record anymore. Oh god. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. It seems like my video has stopped working, or my fraps start, stopped working somehow. And I am screwed. By clicking on that. Okay, there we go. Um, I hope it doesn't corrupt this video. If it did corrupt this video, damn it, then I'm going to be pissed. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys haven't. Sorry for the black screen in the background because the game stops recording for some reason. Don't know how and I don't know what, why did it. I think it's because one of my programs is stopping it from doing a thing. Um, but anyways, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys haven't. Make sure to check down the description box down below if you're looking for more information about my channel or the information about the intro and outro music. I'll talk more about the subject later, uh, probably about school in the next one. And what else is there? Uh, I don't know. Description box, annotation if you guys missed the previous part. If the next part is available, click on that. Bottom two annotations will lead you to other series that I've been working on or finished working on. And thank you guys for watching again. Sorry for this interruption kind of thing. And, like, I don't know how it went to this. And uh, hope to see you guys in the next part of Another View Minds. And I hope you guys have a great, amazing day, weekend, night, or whenever you're watching this. So, Raz out. Hey. I'm guessing this is the public. What is this? Where's it going? Perhaps that meant it was a sign.